I'm Jesse. If it was about 250 years ago, people might consider me a statesman. But today people ask what I do and it's kind of hard to explain because I do many, many, many different things. I do stuff with videos. I do stuff with podcasting. I studied Bible in college, did some Bible translation, wrote a book on theology, but I don't do Sunday morning. I never walked away from liberalism. The only thing I walked away from was Sunday morning. I was raised a conservative and I stayed a conservative because it just made sense to me. I mean, it's not like I wasn't exposed to liberal ideas. They're all around us. But I thought carefully about what I believed. I've written several books, some about politics, some about theology Bible topics. I'm planning to do more writing. I've got a background in education. I sat on a committee when I was 15 years old through the rest of high school, three years, voting on my own textbooks. It wasn't student government. It was actual government. I was on a committee under the school board. Well, you know, since that and, you know, other times I've maintained my background in education. I've written an English curriculum for beginners in English. I'm planning to write more with grammar, but it's designed for both ESL students and native English speakers. Like it's a unified curriculum and it's really, really effective. It's kind of a fast track. Like you learn English faster either way with this because that's how I think. I'm a piano player of 31 years. I'm by no means a master, but I really love playing piano and I've taught piano, you know, for a long time. Oh, there are probably other things I'm not mentioning. I've lived in Asia for 10 years. I've taught myself Mandarin. I'm still learning. And I've taught myself computer code. I do some software development. I really love Linux. I could go on, but I'm not trying to brag. I'm really not. In a way, I'm kind of apologizing for not being able to say, oh, I'm a lawyer, or, oh, I'm a doctor, or oh, I'm you know, a plumber, or oh, I, I'm a business owner. I, I really don't fit into any of those categories. The best way to describe me is a statesman. So I was involved in government when I was younger and I plan to stay involved in government to some extent, J just, you know, being active and voicing my opinion with government. When I was 15 years old, I uh, skipped school for a day to go to the state capitol with my father because state governments were considering a constitutional convention. And there were reasons why that was a bad idea. So at that point, they were considering a conference of the states. I was at that committee and, and I saw how much government really does listen to people if the people would just talk in a way that the government can understand. So over here in Asia, I've also not been afraid to talk with people in government. Uh, it's, you know, it's low key. I don't walk in as some pretentious high profile guy. I just knock on the door and say hi and, and ask if they want my opinion as a as a visiting foreigner. One day I might get back into politics, but for now I've got this YouTube channel. Now I've learned that a lot of people on YouTube are not interested in the same thing that podcast audiences are interested in. So I'm keeping my podcast what they are. I'm keeping my eBooks what they are. You can search me. I'm in the stores. Go to jesse.coffee and you'll see the different things that I have, different things I do with media. And whatever you like, subscribe to it. I've decided to limit my YouTube videos from here on out to shorter videos, especially doing commentary. I've got a few virals. One was a very nice lady named Helen Massey. And another video was one I snagged from IHOPKC about the Moravians. And Jono is in the video. You're actually welcome to use that video. I've had a number of people ask me. And then recently I did a video about uh, my thoughts in the Kavanaugh hearing. I'm going to focus on those commentary videos for YouTube from now on with this channel anyway. So whatever you like, subscribe. Oh, and one other thing, one of the books I wrote, it's free. It's called The People's Party. And I had this idea a few years ago, and I really think it could bring a lot of Americans together. I think that after the Trump years, we are going to be needing a third party. And I would love to get in politics with you someday at that point. But for now, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Watch jesse.coffee and, and see, you know, what transpires there. And I hope that if and whenever I get involved in politics, it'll be short because it would be to make the world a better place. It's not really something that I want to do as a career. What I really want to do is write music. We'll see if I have a chance to get to it.